It's been great. It's been a wild ride. You know, it's only been about uh, nine days now since we've been up and running. Just how do we help? How can we help the state? How can we help our health systems? How do we be part of the solution? So the way I feel, uh, it's it's contagious amongst our group of CEOs. Um, we're dividing and conquering. We're getting a lot done. New this morning, Tommy Alquist of the brand new nonprofit Crush the Curve Idaho is announcing a pathway to help get Idahoans back to work safely when that time comes. Crush the Curve Idaho is a coordinated effort by Idaho businesses, innovators and leaders to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Their mission is to make testing widely available. COVID-19 testing and antibody testing will be available for anyone who wants it. And Alquist says this is the path forward, one that's going to help us all get back to work. We have secured enough testing now that we can offer COVID-19 PCR testing to really any, anyone that needs it. And we also have enough tests now to start out offering antibody testing. And it's really a combination of both. Uh, as we get back to work, kind of knowing, okay, who's had it, who hasn't, who are those silent carriers that might have had it out there, and how are we going to navigate the future going forward? Because as you know, Maggie, we don't have a vaccine yet. Tell me why this is so important for the state of Idaho to get us back to work. Why is this oh. the key? Oh, Maggie, you know, you have friends, you have family members, you have people with businesses that are just completely paralyzed by this, wondering, okay, what do I do? And the stimulus, I think, came quickly and is going to be helpful, but what really needs to happen is get everyone back to work, get those unemployment rolls uh, down and get people back to, to the livelihoods that can take care of their families. We needed to do the right thing. We absolutely need to do the right thing to, to kind of flatten that curve, crush that curve, and now it's how do we get back, but we gotta realize that that next, that next bump it will come. Hopefully it's not till the fall, but how do we get ready for that? And the way we get ready for that is going to be testing. The way we go back to work is going to be testing and be ready next time. Tommy, how did you secure all of these tests when it's hard for states to get even the COVID-19 test? How have you secured both types of tests? We got on the phone immediately and called our friends in Utah and said, how did you do it? And we kind of followed their pathway. So we've just secured relationships with labs that had capacity. That's probably the secret to where we're able to do thousands a day of both. And that's been key. Here in the Valley, we will have two testing centers that will be testing for COVID-19, and you can just show up and be tested. And then we're going to have another testing site for antibodies. The test for COVID-19 is the nasal pharyngeal swab. There is a saliva test coming. It goes in a tube, and they actually extract the RNA in one process, and then they run it through what's called a PCR machine, okay? The antibody test looks in your body, in your blood, to see if you've developed immunity or antibodies against COVID-19. Is the testing free? I think a lot of people are asking, can I afford it? So insurance companies have said, hey, we're going to test anyone for COVID that have symptoms. What we don't know is if they're going to test for antibodies. For people that just want to know, we're going to try to offer a cash price that is not that's going to be truly at cost, right? And it's just going to be cost of collection and cost to run that kit. CrushTheCurveIdaho.com is a nonprofit, and we are currently having donations come in so that we can help cover the cost of those kits for people that just that can't afford it. So it'll be a combination of working with insurance companies because this changes so quickly, having cash prices for people that need it, and having employers that are just saying, hey, I'll pay a hundred bucks to have my people tested because to me, that's important to know if we, if we have, if we can get back to work or not. We've had 77 companies reach out to us, Maggie, and say, help us, test us. We need to have testing for everyone because let me ask another question. What happens if we go back to work in a couple of weeks and all of a sudden you start having an outbreak in a food processing plant or in a millwork plant or somewhere around the state? We've got to be able to, this time, get on it immediately and test everybody and isolate them so that we don't have community spread, so that we don't have, get into the exact same situation we've been in now. We just can't afford that to happen again to the economy or for just the well-being and, and, and health of, of the people that we love. I mean, we just got to all work together to make this happen until we get a vaccine out. Well, there's a long time with this being our new normal on how we're going to live our lives. Now, Alquist tells me they are working with cold diagnostics locally, and these antibody tests have a 96.7% accuracy. There are several medical partners around the Treasure Valley and around the state administering these tests. They are scheduling right now. You can get tested for under $100. They'll also work with your insurance company. And there is the possibility, as Tommy mentioned, of help for people who just can't afford the testing. For more information on the pricing, the testing sites, scheduling an appointment, check out this story on our website. We'll take you to crushthecurveidaho.com.